Hi, Trisha here. Um, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a flower wreath like this one. Um, we're going to use really sort of simple mock making. Um, we're just going to use our brushes to create the marks um, of all our leaves and our flowers. And we're just going to try and work with a simple set of colours. So choose out your colours. I'll show you in a minute which colours I used and uh, we'll get ourselves started. I have got brushes so I suggest that the size of brush that you choose is actually the um, you know the size that you want to paint at you'll see as I go um, but if you want really big leaves then slightly bigger brushes if you want smaller leaves then uh, smaller brushes Okay, and uh, the paints that I've got. So I've got my messy palette up here, which has got all sorts on, uh, but it's got a sap green and a gamboge yellow. It's got some sort of brown on there and some other messies in there. Probably won't use those. Then I have got, kept these out so that I can see what I've got, quinacridone rose, a rose madder, a diox, uh, dioxine violet, got purple, and I have got sap in there. And that, oh, I've put that away in the box. <laughs> that is a uh, cerulean, I think it is. Yeah. Blue. So what I've kind of done, I had different reds, and I am going to do sort of some rosy flowers, but I've tried to keep it more sort of purpley reds and blues. You'll see. First thing I'm going to do is I am going to draw around a plate. Now, I just use a HB pencil there to draw around. Um, and you can't see it. If I lift it up, it's going to go blurry because I haven't got it focused close. But there is a circle on there. Oh, oh, there it is. Can you see it? There it is. So there is a circle on there. Um, that, but it's very light because we're going to paint over it. Um, so don't you use a really dark, heavy pencil. Don't use like a um, a four B or something for drawing this down because you want to rub it away. You want it to disappear later. Oh. Uh, right. So I kind of don't want to go all the way round. I'm going to see if I can leave a gap and then actually have it sort of more in a sort of moon or a C shape. So I'm going to have a little gap at the top here if I can remember not to keep putting things in. Um, and that's probably the only planning I'm going to do. I'm kind of going to go from here and my flowers are going to spray out this way, but I'm going to try and keep it around my circle. Okay, so I'm going to start off first and I'm going to put all the flowers in and then I'm going to put the leaves in afterwards. Okay, I've been chatting so long and getting myself set up that actually my paints have just gone a little bit stiff here. just going to wash this out first off and just get a quite light wash with this um, and I'm just going to go for it there's no there's no point sort of planning too much and messing around and I don't know if you can see I probably need to zoom in a little bit more um, but I'm just gonna. There we go. Can you see? I'm scooping around at different intervals. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, 
what I can do is I can just wash over some of the edges here to let some of that bleed out. So I'm going to zoom in a minute so you can see the next one and I'll show you the next one which I will do with the uh, rose madder. Uh, no, I won't. I'm going to do it with the uh, violet and then, and then you'll be able to see that a little bit better hopefully. Okay, so I've got the violet on my brush now and you can see here Oh, just going off the edge here, my, uh, my circle that I've got. So I want to just do some slightly, maybe some, a couple here and here. Let me just, oh, move my pots up a bit. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to dart in the middle there. There we go. And then I'm going to go a little C shape. See, and so I'm going to go on with my brush and then I'm pressing down. And then you see where these two are separated. Let me just get some more paint. Those two are separated. I'm going to come around that. Okay, and then wash my brush off, and then if you kind of feel like, oh, okay, the the lines are a bit too harsh, I'm just going to wet up to them here, and just let them bleed around. come back into that first one slightly just because it's just dried a little bit too much going to do some little pink uh, this quinacridone rose because I've only got that one so I'm just going to do another little one here
quite like that actually. Okay, I'm going to do another tiny one here. Uh, I might just move to this slightly smaller brush. Yeah. It's not as nice a brush, it's more of a cheap one, but it should give me a, a much tinier. as much paint for some reason. There we go. I've at least got it pointing slightly different direction. So can you see I didn't go all the way around this one, this one and this one. I just went round like a C shape around a half of it and then so it's sort of pointing all the way. a little bit so you can see that there okay. actually I'm gonna wait on that I know what else I'm gonna do first before I start I'm gonna do some little buds I knew there was something else I wanted so I'm just loading my brush with the quinacridone rose um, and then just a little bit of the violet in there and I'm gonna Spaced apart, wasn't it? Come back into this one again. There we go. my rig brush my liner brush can you see it's a very thin fine one it's a bit floppy mine is gone a bit bent in my pot okay. and I'm gonna go into my sap green you can mix a color yourself if you want and I think I might mix some of the Gamboge into this later. There we, go. there we go. Right, so you want to make sure that the whole of the bristles are completely covered top to bottom because that's that's kind of how the rigger works. Okay. So I'm not trying to draw too many leaves particularly, but I'm just going to come from these ones that I've just done and just gonna like, work out. Let me turn that red. Sorry, just peeling off. Where they're gonna 
join in here. Okay, maybe can you see? No. So then I'm gonna come. And these are really just going to be my guide. So I am sort of following that circle now. Um, I think I'm probably going to bring a couple. I'm going to have to fill that up with the leaves in there because it's a bit odd. But I'll just bring a bit there. There we go. Okay. Can you see? I've just swooshed round there. Let's wash that off. Okay. Now I had that blue. There it is. splatter here on this. That's it, that's nicer isn't it? And wish that off again. And disappear off the bottom here. You want this quite wet, but you don't want it all drooping off your brush because you don't want it to like massive splatters. There we go. That's a bit nicer, isn't it? There. Now I'm going to come in and put some leaves in. Um, I'm going to bulk out a lot of this with leaves, but I am going to leave some little spaces and I think I will probably bring some little yellowy flowers in. I'm just going to mix a little bit of the yellow in here, over that side. just going to push on and pull off. I'm just going to move this so you can see because I'm going to turn this paper around. So on and Mm -hmm. 
just going to take a tiny bit of purple into these two wet ones here. a bit of a blob coming out of there. I'm going to have to bring some I'm going to let that dry a minute because I'm going to work back over this. I'm going to bring some yellow over the top of that to see if I can put some extra leaves in there. I've got a couple of blobs here where I've tried to force them in a bit. So what I'm going to do is come with my blue and just now. probably do something in here maybe
managing to not paint anywhere we're on filming. Sorry about that. So I'm just coming behind some of these, which I'm just trying to separate out some of these blobs by adding a touch of yellow to them. I'm seeing if I can actually kind of separate these into different petals so I have done a prop from here which just isn't working so don't panic I'm just gonna stop there um, I think I could add a little bit more yellow in if I wanted to um, but 
I won't I won't go crazy on it um, but there it is quite simple uh, quite effective obviously you could put more flowers oh look see I'm gonna have another little mess Mess, 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 mess. So there we go, all done. But you could put more little speckly flowers, you could put more little uh, rose buds in, whatever you fancy, really. I think the key is to think about, um, you know, what sort of mark your brush makes. Um, so can you get little dots? When I was trying to get little dots around here, that wasn't really working, but I got these really nice little sort of bell shapes by pressing my brush down. So have a go with your brush, see what you can make and uh, go for it. Uh, it could all be dotty flowers, you could do tulips or something. Up to you, but you can really make it your own. Okay then, um, I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this tutorial then take a look at my website i've got on-demand courses online courses and in-person courses i'm sure there's something there you'd really enjoy